What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Today, I'm gonna start out my um, When Simping Goes Wrong series. Shout out to JD Black <clears throat> for influencing me to do this. Shout out to my brother Truth Teller 410. Uh, <laughs> Look, this is a new series that's going to be blazing through 2017. And the reason being that it's going to be blazing through is because a lot of you niggas haven't learned not to stop simping. And, uh, you know, there's a bunch of Captain Saver hoes out there. You, you could look right at my videos and see them. And, uh, one of the reasons I'm I'm starting this, not only because of JD Black, because he's the one who kind of told me to make it a series, but I was going to do this video based on um, another video that I seen on a, a Quazy 100's Facebook page. I believe it was originally posted by Media Takeout, which is another one of these sites that make money off of black buffoonery. But um, I saw this video and it kind of it really just made me want to cry man uh <laughs> it had a uh female who it started out with a female he, she had her um baby daddy in between her legs like hold it like dominating him holding him down looking like like by the back of the of his shirt or collar or whatever and she was hooking off on him and this dude was not fighting back he's just sitting there getting fucked up literally getting his ass handed to him and you could hear first of all you surrounded by people you know how motherfuckers are nowadays you just record they don't sit there and say hey listen don't do this shit one of y'all gonna end up fucked up in jail or worse whatever Nobody, nobody's stepping in. You got motherfuckers laughing in the background saying that this dude deserves it. Um, this chick is that's beating the shit out of him and saying, oh, he don't pay his child support and this and that. And um, the dude that's recording it is yet another simp. This dude is sitting there going, I'm not getting involved in this. Yet you're recording the fucking shit. Um... While this dude is getting pounded out, this dude is saying, no, I, not baby, I love you, I still wanna be with you. <laughs> and th yo, this chick is hooking, <laughs> hooking off on this motherfucker. This sorry, soft spined, no soul having, lame fucking cream puff dude. Just, just stomping him out kneeing him, punching him, dragged him into the other room. And uh what else happened that I noticed? When she dragged this dude in the other room and is still wailing on him, finally the female of all people, the other female that was like, nah, she needs to get it out. She needs to get out. She finally came over and said, nah, babe, you good. Let's go. Don't do not do this. It's enough. And she finally dragged the, the chick away. And this dude, you know how some of these dudes try to uh, still flex their masculinity even after they get their ass kicked? They grab their shirt real quick, throw it, and, and the dude walked out the door. Now, there, there are... Millions, I just mentioned some of the things that were wrong in that video, but uh, and, and this is what prompted me to do this because I saw so much wrong with that. And I and I know I've seen other videos that are somewhat similar, and it's, it's just too many for me to stand. Um, 
this female that came in, took the chick away, has is more of a man than than some of you dudes out there because she actually had the common sense to say, listen, that's enough. It, it, you good. That we're done. You know, when it, when the man should be saying, nah, stop, stop, do, don't do this. You know, it, this is ridiculous. Then nah, this dude is standing there like a hoe recording the whole shit. That's number one. You you already know I got a problem with that. Uh, two simp's in that video. Not only the guy getting his ass whooped, but the dude holding the camera. Because I already know this. This is why I tell you about these niggas that are simps. And I deal with them on a daily fucking basis. That I, I could so see that dude. Supposedly he's that guy's friend. He's not a friend. If he let that shit go down, he is... I would have never... If that was me, I would never talk to that motherfucker again. But I could so see that dude going to console that bitch the one that was uh hit the the dude's baby mama or whatever the case i could go i could so see that dude going right into the next room and saying don't worry about it baby yeah you know he should have paid that child support in order to get in that ass in order to get it that's the type of dude and i i smell it even through that that video screen i could smell him I can smell him. I know what type of man that is. And this is the type of dude that I tell you and other YouTubers have told you about. Especially shout out to Painless Risen. He made a great video titled Simps Are Dangerous. That's the type of dude that will cut your throat in order to get that fucking momentary pleasure. To get that pussy. And mind you, this chick already got fucking um, kids with, the, with, with uh, the other dude. His supposed friend. But the fact that he didn't step in, the fact that I, I know for a fact he went in there and tried to console, I know it. I just know it. And I didn't even have to see the rest of the video to know that he did that shit. But y'all y'all dudes that come at me and say, well, fuck you. Uh, you don't know how to treat a woman. And um, no, nigga, I just don't simp. There's a difference. I'm very assertive. I tell women straight off the bat, this is how it is with me. I'm setting my ways when it comes to certain shit. So you either rock with me or there's the door. I don't like to play games. I don't do that lovey-dovey shit anymore because it never works out. Being the nice guy don't fucking work. I don't know how many times I got to tell you niggas this. You niggas don't listen. You niggas will say, uh, you just have a problem with women. No, I don't. I, I love women. I think they are beautiful. <laughs> Some of them I think, they are, I think they are beautiful Pussy is a great pleasure But it's not worth sacrificing My um, My character Who I am I've done that way too many times I've told you niggas this When I was younger I used to be that dude But I'm not that anymore Because it don't get you anywhere Women don't respect you On the back of that shit They do not I've gotten more ass Off the back of Just saying Fuck it I don't give a shit And just walking away from them because then the real woman is going to be inquisitive and want to know why the fuck he doing that. And she's going to, you know, you know the rest. The rest is history. I don't have to go that far. But that video alone is what's prompting me to do this series. As uh, And then 2016, my God, aside from all the tragedies that came at the end of the year or, or throughout the year, I should say, the other tragedies that came in 2016 were just the rise of these simps celebrity fucking simps rob kardashian is hands down up uh, shout out jd black again he said it himself hands down the uh, king simp of 2016 i mean that whole shit with black china like really i mean and this dude getting on there acting all suicidal and now you got um these two negroes uh Chris Brown and Soldier Boy fighting over this bro. I mean, why are these rich ass dudes, Russell Wilson, another one. Why are these rich dudes fighting over pussy that this is why I say to y'all and I say to people that know me but off YouTube that God will never allow me to either be um, be a multimillionaire or billionaire or whatever or um have superpowers why because 
Dude, I would be the grimiest motherfucker. Well, to you, it would be grimy. To me, it would just be self-preservation and just common sense. Look, I'm not fighting over no bitch, especially if I'm rich. Well, I don't do it anyway, but look, it, 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 if I got all that money, let's just put myself in, in their shoes. And some bitch wants to go fuck with somebody else, I say, okay, go ahead. I'm done. That's it. I'm finished. Because I know that my power, my status, my money is going to get someone else. Someone else is going to come along and and I'm going to end up fucking, at, you know, or being in a relationship or whatever the fuck your goal is. I'm going to get it. But you got these motherfuckers that are making videos in Rob Kardashian's sense. Oh, Christmas... You're so lonely. I wish you was here. No, nigga. That was your fault for dealing with a bitch that was way below your level. And uh, a lot of these hoes are looking for a come up. Easy come up. And it, as much as they won't admit it, it's the fucking truth. And she got you because you impregnated that hoe. And now she got you for at least 18 years getting that Kardashian money. Me, personally, I... Uh, <sighs> Whew. My God. My God, my God, my God. And it's in, you know, uh, another common comment I get is, why are you worried about this shit? You know why I'm worried about it? Because I try to live my life. I practice what I preach. Anyone that really knows me knows that I practice what I preach. And I get criticized all the time for this shit. So now I'm going to use these examples that are throwing your face and I'm going to shove them down your throat. And I'm going to say, see? This is what I'm talking about. So y'all motherfuckers can see that sometimes it's just not worth it. I, I don't chase women. Yeah, if I see someone I like, sure. Hey, you want to go out for a drink or whatever? You don't want to do it? Cool, no problem. I'm on to the next. I'm not sitting here because you're a good looking woman and you got fucking a vagina between your legs. So does the next uh, 20 women behind you. Why, why would I sit there concentrating on your fucking ass for and a lot of you niggas need to get on board with that shit. Stop all this fucking um, Cyrano de Bergerac bullshit. Stop that shit. Like, it, it, you know, if you find the one, cool. I'm not against that. If there's a woman that's willing to hold you down, let a man be a man, number one. And she's holding you down. She's on your level, bringing something to the table. Fine. But a lot of you get twisted up over this vagina, over this ass, over tits. And you don't see what the woman the woman could be bringing absolutely nothing to you and y'all get all fucking twisted up oh you got a problem with women, women. fuck you um anyway just look forward for more of this to more of this series excuse me <clears throat> i'm gonna go hard this year i promise you i'm gonna stay on y'all um yeah that's it um so enough with that i'm gonna be doing slept on shit the next episode is going to be the Cellar Dwellers. Is going to be the album um, Realms of Reality. The classic album from 1994, Realms of Reality. Look forward to that, okay? Shout out to uh, True Teller 410, JD Black, O'Shea Duke Jackson. All y'all, y'all already know. Um, that's it. Everybody else, leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, and that's it. Peace, bitches.